My name is Dennis Mormon, and I go by Dionísio here in Brazil. I'm living right now in São Paulo, Brazil. I work with um, healing trauma. Basically, I work with clients one-on-one -on -one basis, and I also work with groups of people. Uh, trainings, helping with to give trainings to therapists and other people who just want to learn to heal their own trauma. I do this in Brazil, but I also I travel throughout the world quite extensively. Uh, this year I'm working in Japan, uh, Korea, Chile, the U.S., and Bolivia. A lot of people ask me, are you a psychologist? I said, no, I'm not a psychologist. And they said, well, if you deal with trauma, you must be a medical doctor. I said, no, I'm not a medical doctor. I am a Catholic priest, but I see trauma as something that affects us physically, spiritually, and emotionally. So it's a very uh, holistic in its impact. So the healing also has to be at a very holistic level. One of the things we try to do is to train other therapists, giving short workshops to give them tools. Our body remembers. Our body is very wise, remembers everything, but it also has the key to healing. And that's what somatic experiencing, which is one of the modalities that I use for working with trauma, is it tries to use the inner wisdom of the body to heal itself. One of the areas I work in here in Sao Paulo is the city of Perus on the northwestern periphery. And I work there primarily as a sacramental minister, as a Catholic priest. But there would be a lot of people who would have various situations of trauma that I would work with as well. One, uh, one woman comes to mind right away because it was such a powerful experience. Um, was in Haiti just one month after the earthquake. Uh, she came to me, she was just like skin and bones. And um, she said, you know, I have eight kids and I'm trying to feed them and there's no food. And all I can think about, I can't sleep and I can't eat myself. All I can do is think about feeding my eight kids. You know, I realized that her survival, her kids' survival, depended upon her survival because she's all they had. I said, well, do you have, what is it that, that, that helps you get through this? Is there any kind of spiritual resource? Because I realized that I didn't know what her religious background was. And uh, she said, well, the only thing I can think of is Jesus hanging on the cross. And I said, well, is it okay to go there to him right now? And I noticed her face relaxed and she calmed down. And she really came back into her body, came back to herself. And she was able for a moment to quit thinking about how am I gonna get enough food for my kids? The healing comes when we're able to reconnect with ourselves again. And that was just a powerful example for me of someone who had no earthly resource, but she had a spiritual resource that helped her to, uh, to find her healing and reconnect with her own body. Mary Knoll is all about mission, and mission is about reaching outside our comfort zone uh, to be in solidarity with other people that are suffering. And uh, many people have suffered trauma. So my work in particular helps people uh, to find that healing that reconnects them with themselves, with God, and with their communities. And uh, I think that's what spirituality is all about, is, is growing deeper in relationship and connection with God and with one another and with oneself. So I think when we help others, it helps restore our dignity if we do it in a way that helps restore the other's dignity.